With this week's Precious Metals Market Update, this is Tom Cloud. I'm going to continue to talk about fundamental issues in the gold and silver market. Technically, uh, gold is stuck between 1143 and 1180. Uh, a lot of the big buyers say, I need the price to go down to 1143 before I buy, and others are saying, I want to see it break 1180 going up. So, uh, volume has been slow in the United States and uh, probably will continue to be until we see more of the direction of the market. But what I always like to talk about is why it affects the market. The things we see out there try to be on the leading edge of uh, possible events that could happen not on the technical side, but on the fundamental side. And of course, the, well, the main thing that happened over the weekend was the repeal uh, of, of the UK joining the Asian transfer system applying to be a, a member of the and leaving the SWIFT system in the U.S. for payments. Now what's amazing about this now, the people who have signed up for it are China, India, England, New Zealand, plus seven other smaller countries, which make up over half of the world's population that are leaving the SWIFT system where accounts are settled in U.S. dollars and we'll now see them settled in the currency of China. And this is devastating to the U.S. dollar. And if you don't believe it, just keep your money in dollars and you'll find out how devastating it is after a period of time. No one knows when this will change and when this will go full throng. But what we're seeing is people are fed up with the United States and the IMF, which is 51% controlled by the U.S. and making these rules like we rule the world. And now we're seeing this fight back. And this will be a dagger, absolutely a dagger, in the U.S. dollar. 39 years experience, I can tell you this will be a dagger in the U.S. dollar, and it will swiftly drop. So you've got to be aware of this. I sent the email out last week. If anyone didn't get it, they can contact our office, and we'll be happy to send it to you about England, New Zealand, and these other countries uh, leaving and applying to be a charter member and the official name of it uh, is the Chinese International Payment System uh, at, through the Asian Infrastructure Bank that will now be out there. So you've got to watch this and watch it very closely. Uh, as I uh, film this or on Monday, you know, there's been a lot of talk about Putin being dead for the last 10 days. Fox News is reporting this morning that he has surface. So that's something we can take off the table if it's true. But that has been reported by Fox News on Monday morning that Putin has resurfaced after 10 to 13 days of uh, counseling meetings and being out of the pocket and a lot of rumors flying about his health issues. So what do you do out there when you see and you know the dollar is going to crumble, you know the derivatives are going to come, and the first thing I want to talk about is what we've talked about before has been the repeal of the Glass-Steagall Act, which puts every dollar in the bank at risk. The bail-ins are now in place. The G20 we've talked about in the past in October has put your money where it can be bailed in with any problem. You're going to be the one paying it, not the bank, not the FDIC, but you are going to be the one that's going to get hit with it. Now, you may, may want to leave your money in there for a while longer and play Ring Around the Roses, and when the music stops, you will be a loser. Guaranteed, you will be a loser. And it may be a little early, but certainly I've been looking at alternatives, and as I said last week, I talked about those in the current um, talk I just did up in Illinois two weeks ago, and you can buy that tape through compass.org uh, on the internet, and I would urge you to do it. It's that important. But let me talk a little bit about what I'm doing. Uh, I have begun to slowly diversify into currencies that I've researched and believe will be the winners. I don't sell foreign currency. I have So what I'm telling you is advice. You need to go to your advisor and have him search it 
and research it because what we sell is physical gold and silver, platinum and palladium. So, but personally, I've got to put part of my money out of the dollar and out of the bank and into other things besides gold and silver. After I have the percentage I want in gold and silver, there are other places. Well, let me give you a few of the ones. The first one I've diversified into is the Polish Zloty, Z-L-O-T-Y, and I used an ETF called USDPLN, USDPLN, and I also bought some Israeli shekels uh, under USDDILS, and the third currency I bought is a Singapore dollar, FX. S G, F X S G, and the last one is I put some back in the Swiss franc, F X F, and I've also got physical cash out to increase uh, for the emergency that's ahead, and it is going to be an emergency when half of the world's population leaves the U S SWIFT system this year, and it could be sooner than later. It will put an explosive problem with derivatives worldwide. We will no longer have the world's money to play with and keep kicking the can down the road because the U.S. uses the SWIFT system for collateral and all these derivatives that don't exist. Plain and simple, we use other people's money as collateral on assets that do not exist. So you can be assured that later in the year, whether it's May, the most likely time is September and October, you need to have as much money except what you need to operate on out of the bank. I've given you gold, silver, four different currencies I'm investing in, as well as physical cash in your hand out of the bank. And this is very, very important. So what we want to look at also is to realize that the Apple iWatch that we talked about last week and the potential 570 tons a year of gold being bought just through the iWatch, I don't know if y'all have been watching the commercials, they have been launched. On one side for Christians it's very scary because you look at it like a mark, it's, on, it's like a mark on the wrist or the hand and a lot of... Uh, uh, scholar, Bible scholars are translating it to be uh, the mark of the beast. Certainly, I don't know. I'm not going there. I'm not an expert on that. But when you watch on TV them take that watch and go across, buy their groceries, buy their airplane tickets, uh, get on the airplane themselves, uh, and all the other things, that, stock trades that can be done with this eye watch, you, dim, you do begin to wonder if we are not in the end times even faster than we were last year as we get closer and closer to our Lord and Savior coming back for His church. And I do believe that's easily going to happen in my lifetime and most of y'all watching this. So while that does it, it will affect gold to the positive effect. All this tonnage, if it is up to 25 or 30 percent of all the gold mined the next 12 months could be bought by Apple for, for this watch and for them also getting money out of the system and into gold and storing it. It's a great way for them to buy gold without making the world panic. So we've got a lot of uh, fundamental issues going on, but the key thing, uh, and you've seen some great things uh, Jerry's written about uh, this and the dollar and the currencies, and uh, certainly you need to be following this because as we're told in the Bible, in Ecclesiastes 11, 2, to divide your wealth seven or eight ways because no man knows what disaster will come up on the world. So you've got stocks and bonds and real estate, real estate physical, real estate with ETFs, oil, natural gas, gold, silver, platinum, palladium. You've got all these different areas to put a percentage of your assets into. But I definitely would increase the gold and silver at least 10 or 15 percent higher than you currently have it. So hopefully this has been helpful to you again this week. This is, and uh, if you do need to get in touch with us, you can reach us at 800 
800-247-2812. That's 800-247-2812. You can sign up for our email blast by going to FTM Daily uh, front slash gold, or you can go to FTM Daily and hit the precious metals button. We will not share your email with anyone, and uh, we send out two or three emails a week to try to keep you abreast of specials, uh, market moves, uh, articles uh, relevant to gold and silver movement, and keep you updated the best we can. Once again, we will not share your email with anyone. So if you do have any calls, give us a call, and if you would like to talk about setting up a precious metals, IRA, where it's physical gold and silver, you can give us a call and we can tell you how to set that up or roll over an existing IRA. With this week's Precious Metals Market Update, this is Tom Cloud signing out.